Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make my crochet pattern, the Granny Stripe Cowl. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains and how to make the double crochet stitch. I have videos on both of those and I will have them listed down below. To start, you're going to make chains in the multiple of three. For my example cowl, I'm going to make 180 chains. So again, for your chains, you're going to make in multiple of three, and I made 180 chains for my example cowl. To start row one, make two double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, and four. That's one. And that's two. Skip three chains. Into the next chain, make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Skip three chains. Into the next one, make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three, all in the same chain. Skip three chains. Into the next chain, make three double crochet, all in that same chain. You're now going to repeat this until you reach the end of your row.
So that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make four chains. You're gonna skip these three stitches right here. You're gonna be working into this space between the stitches. Make three double crochet into that first space. Same thing, skip three stitches, working into the space between these stitches, make three double crochet. Same thing, skip three stitches into the space between these stitches, make three double crochet. You're now going to repeat this until you reach the end of your row.
When you get to the end of your row and you run out of spaces in between stitches to work into, make one chain and then make a double crochet into these previous chains from your last row. So you can see these were the first two double crochet we made in our last row and these were those chains. These chains are going to count as a double crochet, so that's going to be another block of three, just like this one. So you're going to make a double crochet into the top of those chains from your last row to complete this row. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make three chains. So you can see from our last row, we have this open space here now just like these spaces in between stitches these three chains that you just made to start are going to count as a double crochet so in this space we're going to make two double crochet and with these chains that's going to be three double crochet into this space so it's going to match these other blocks of three you're now going to start repeating the sequence, skip to the next open space between stitches, and make three double crochet. Skip three stitches into this open space between stitches, make three double crochet. Skip to the next space between stitches, make three double crochet. You're now going to repeat this until you reach the end of your row.
And that's how row three is looking. You would now alternate between rows two and three for how thick you want your cowl. So I continued on to make the rest of my cowl and I ended up making 13 rows as you can see here. If you wanted to make it thinner, you would take away some rows and then if you wanted to make it thicker, you could add some rows. So once you get to the very last row that you want to make, you're going to leave a very long tail at the end to sew these ends of your cowl together. Now you could keep them flat like this and sew them together this way, or you could take one of the ends and flip it over to give the cowl more of an infinity cowl look, and then you could sew these ends together with the yarn that you left over. So this is how my cowl is looking all completed. And that is gonna be how to make my granny stripe cowl. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.